John Pastor E.A. Ibitayo every Sunday at 8 a.m. plus 2 GMT on RTM for another encounter on Back to Bethel. Download RTM's app on Google Play Store and you can also watch on YouTube. RTM TV World. God bless you. We want to look at a new wave of glory. A text is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. But we all, with open face, beholding us in a glass, the glory of the Lord, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. The church of God is about to experience a notable change. There is a new wave of glory, and we cannot afford to delay. We have to key in into it. The Spirit of God is on the move. And anyone who fails to move may be removed. You will not be removed. There is a change that God is about to effect. And everybody must key into that change. We must be connected to the new wave of glory. What is a new wave of glory? What is a new wave of glory? Number one, it is a new dimension of glory. God is going to do something in your life this season. And men and women will say, we have never seen this before. They would say, this is a new version. It's a new dimension. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 41, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 41, the Bible says, there is one glory of the sun. And another glory of the moon. And another glory of the stars. For one star differeth, differeth from another star in what? In glory. You know, we have stars and we have superstars. God is taking you to another level. It's taking all of us to another realm. Amen. It's a new dimension of glory. We're not going to rush because by the grace of God, we are, this message will continue next Sunday, if Jesus tarries. What is a new wave of glory? Number two, it is a new degree of glory. It is a new degree of glory. And we can see this from the passage we have read as the main text. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. But we all with open face, beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord. I want to encourage you, this season, please open your eyes. Because the Bible says, we all will open face. Don't close your eyes. Open your eyes. Bible says, we all with open face, beholding as in the glass, the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord.
Hallelujah. I don't know what degree you have already gotten. Fasten your seat belts. I see God adding to what you have before. Is it BA you have gotten before? You get your PhD. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A new dimension of glory, a new degree of glory. Since I was speaking about three, a new wave of glory is a new definition of glory. It is a new definition of glory. You know, because of you, people will coin a new definition for glory. They will capture it. They will see it. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 7 says, Isaiah chapter 60 verse 7, the Bible says, All the flocks of Kedah shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Naboth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on mine altar. That's not where we are going. Where we are going is this. And I will glorify the house of my glory. Look at that one. I will glorify the house of my glory. Can you see God glorifying glory? That's a new definition. Hallelujah. So the glory that people will see upon you very soon, they will say, we have never seen this type of glory before. This glory square. Somebody shall be referred to as glory personified. How can I be a beneficiary of this new wave of glory before we pray? How can I be a beneficiary of this new wave of glory? Number one, very simple, you must be willing and obedient. You must be willing and obedient. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19, which is a popular passage. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. If you are willing, if you are obedient, you will eat the good of the land. But let's look at the land. What exactly is in the land? Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 14. Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 14. The Bible says, For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. The earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. And in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glory that covers the earth, you will not miss your portion. Amen. You must be willing. You must be obedient so that you can partake of the glory that will cover the earth. From Cape Town to Cairo. Hallelujah. The entire continent of Africa will be covered with the glory of God. The whole world will be covered with the glory of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't forget. In 2 Kings chapter 2. If you read from verse 2 to 15. We, won't, we will not read because of time. You see the story of Elisha there. Somebody was willing. Somebody was obedient. He followed his master. 
to the very end. And he was able to receive the new wave of glory. Others made jest of him. He didn't care. He was willing. He was obedient. Number two, you must be available and ready for service. You must be available and ready for what? Service. Because the glory is not going to be for show. Be ready to work. If you read Psalm 89 verse 20, the Bible says, Psalm 89 verse 20, I have found David my servant. Which means he was available. With my holy oil have I anointed him. When you are available for service, the anointing will be poured upon you. The glory will cover you. In Isaiah chapter 6, from verse 1 to 8, Isaiah chapter 6, from verse 1 to 8, you will see the story of Isaiah himself there. He had been ministering, prophesying before this time. But in the year that King Uzziah died, he said, I saw also the Lord sitting upon a throne, high and lifted up, and the strength filled the temple. Every king desire that will not allow you to see this new wave of glory, the Lord will remove that person. King desire must die so that you can see this new wave of glory. Where I'm going is this. Isaiah have been serving but he had this encounter. And at the end of the day, if you read verse 8, the word of God says, Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I. Do what? Send me. Hallelujah. An evangelist is speaking there. Here am I, send me. The, he, he saw the glory in a new dimension. It's all because of time. That's why I have not read it. But read it when you get home. Who will go for us? Whom shall I send? What was his response? Here am I, send me. Here am I, send me. As the Lord wants somebody, here am I, send me. Finally, for today, how can I be a beneficiary of this new wave of glory? You must be violent against every enemy of God's glory. Be violent against every enemy of God's glory. Whether in your life, whether in your family, whether in your ministry. Be violent against every enemy of God's glory. Sin is an enemy of God's glory. Be violent against sin. Sin will not have any expression in your life this season. In the name of Jesus. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You can't afford to come short of the glory of God. So be violent against sin. Be violent against Satan himself. 
In Matthew chapter 4, from verse 8 to 10, Matthew 4, 8 to 10, you can read from verse 1 on your own. But the Bible says, again the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain. That's our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And showeth him all the kingdoms of the world. And what? And the glory of them. And he saith, saith unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou would fall, fall down and worship me. What did he say? Then saith Jesus unto him, Get thee hence, Satan. Why? For it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Get thee hence, Satan. Leave me alone. He said he will give Jesus all the glory that you see. It's not the owner. Elisha was violent against the sons of the prophet who wanted to discourage him from getting a new wave of glory in 2 Kings chapter 2 that we have already referred to. The 2 Kings chapter 2, if you read verse 3, verse 5, and verse 15. 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 3, verse 5, verse 15. The sons of the prophet, they said, do you know that today your master will be taken away from you? He said, yes, I know it. Mind your business. How does that become your business? At Bethel, at Jericho, they tried to discourage him. He was violent against them. And at the end of the day, in verse 15, when they saw what happened to him, when they got the double portion, when the new wave of glory landed on him, they went before him and they bowed before him. I want us to please be on our feet. John Pastor E.A. Ibitayo every Sunday at 8 a.m. plus 2 GMT on RTM for another encounter on Back to Bethel. Download RTM's app on Google Play Store and you can also watch on YouTube. RTM TV World. God bless you. Oh, oh, oh.